We use maps every single day. 1.5 billion cars all over the world utilize maps. You get into a car, what's the first thing you need in most cases is a map. And I always felt like if there was a way to build maps, but do it in a much more kind of crowdsourced way, then you actually had something that was incredibly interesting. My name's Ariel Seidman. I'm the CEO and co-founder of HiveMapper. So HiveMapper is building a global map. And the way that we're doing that is quite simple. So you buy this dash cam, you install the dash cam on your car. It is collecting all of this imagery, all this location data. And as we're mapping here, the Solana blockchain is supporting our ability to ensure that this is being done correctly and being done in a way that is equitable to everybody who's participating. There's all these cars every single day that are driving around. If you put a little camera on them, we reward you in our honey token. It's a reward mechanism saying like, look, you put in this effort, right, to build this map, to contribute and collect this data. Here's your reward for it. When people think of HiveMapper today, they think of the HiveMapper dash cam, right? The, the device, it is the eyes kind of, you know, just driving down a street and it's like, okay, what do I see? Okay, and then what do I see needs to be translated, right, into little bits of information that make up an actual map. And then we have these map AI trainers. And so the map AI trainers, they can be sitting anywhere in the world behind a computer and they're training the AI. AI says, hey, I think this is a 35 hour speed limit sign and it's located here, right? Is that correct or not? And by training it, we're actually improving it. And those people, by the way, are also rewarded in honey tokens. We had to figure out what blockchain we're going to use, right? And there's all these different blockchains out there. I look at it from a very practical kind of just business mindset, right? And so there were three things that were important to us. One was incredibly low transaction fees. We have all this risk in terms of building out a global map, product risks and technical risks and geo risks and so forth. The last risk that I want to introduce is incredibly expensive transactional fees for the blockchain that I'm using. Number two was ease of use, right? I didn't want developers to be mired in crazy amounts of complexity. I don't want to have 10 engineers focused on all the blockchain infrastructure stuff, right? Because really I need those 10 engineers working on the map and building all the technology, the map AI technology, the dash cam technology and stuff like that. And then the third was ecosystem. There's a lot of investments that are going into infrastructure and all these companies call me up saying, oh, we have this infrastructure, we have that infrastructure. I'm like, I don't need any of it. I have Solana. There's a lot of different wallets out there. There's a lot of different tools out there. There's a lot of different, you know, analytic capabilities for the Solana blockchain. And so those were the three primary reasons that drove us to go build on Solana, and we have not been disappointed. It was only possible on Solana to me. That means that I'm not thinking about it. I don't have to think about it. The engineers and the product managers and me myself as a CEO, we're not sitting there worrying and thinking about Solana and blockchain technologies every single day because the technology is available it's available at all times. It's incredibly cost effective. It's incredibly easy to use because it just works. And that's beautiful. That's what it should be. That's what, what great technology really comes down to.